little fox. Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there lived a very sweet girl. She always wore a red cape with a hood. So everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. What a beautiful day it is! Hello, Birdie. Good morning, Mr. Squirrel. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's mother had some bad news. Your grandma is sick. I made her some food, but I can't take it to her. Poor grandma. I'll take it, mother. What a good girl you are. Here's the food. Be careful going through the forest. I will. Goodbye, mother. Grandma lived on the other side of the forest. So Little Red Riding Hood took the basket and left for Grandma's. In the forest lived a big, bad, and very hungry wolf. There's nothing to eat in this forest. I'm sick of squirrels. The rabbits taste rotten. I want something new and yummy. Just then. Little Red Riding Hood walked by. She stopped when she saw the wolf. Oh, hello, Mr. Wolf. Now she looks very tasty. Good day, little girl. Where are you going? To my grandma's house. She's very sick. Talking to strangers, especially hungry ones, is dangerous. But Little Red Riding Hood did not know that. That's too bad. Where does your grandma live? Maybe I can visit her too. She lives on the other side of the forest. It's very easy to find. Hurry along then. You mustn't keep Grandma waiting. So Little Red Riding Hood continued on her way. The wolf. Watched her go. He had a plan. I'll run to her grandma's house and wait. Then, when she comes, the wolf ran through the forest to grandma's house. Hello, anybody home? There was no answer. The house looked empty. Where could grandma be? Just then. The wolf heard Little Red Riding Hood coming up to the house, so the wolf put on Grandma's shawl. Then he jumped into the bed. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Little Red Riding Hood, Grandma. I brought some food for you. Oh, how lovely! Come inside, dear. Grandma. What's wrong with your voice? It's this terrible cold. Grandma, what big arms you have! All the better to hug you with, my dear. Grandma, what big ears you have! All the better to hear you with, my dear. Grandma, what? Big eyes you have. All the better to see you with, my dear. Grandma, what big teeth you have! All the better to eat you with, my dear. Poor little Red Riding Hood. Ah! Help! Help! There's no one to help you. You're mine now. The wolf caught her with his big arms. He opened his mouth. He was about to bite her with his big, sharp teeth when. What's going on? I'm going to eat up your granddaughter. Yum! <laughs> well, I was just about to make some soup. Let me put some vegetables in. Then you can put her in too.
Grandma. Don't worry. Grandma wasn't really going to let the wolf eat Little Red Riding Hood. Grandma had a plan too. Hurry up! I'm starving. Hold your horses. I'm almost done. The vegetables Grandma put in the pot were hot chili peppers. She stirred the soup with a big wooden spoon. <laughs> Taste this, Mr. Wolf. <laughs> ah, it's burning my mouth. Oh no! Here, eat this. You'll feel better. <laughs> Ow! My mouth is on fire. Ow! Oh dear! Have some water. Ah, uh, help! Get me out of here! Ah! With his mouth, tongue, and throat <laughs> on fire, the wolf ran out of Grandma's house as fast as he could. They never saw him again. Now, Little Red Riding Hood, did you learn your lesson? Yes, Grandma. I'll never speak to strangers again, and I'll never eat Grandma's soup. The end. <laughs>